All right, you guys ready? We are back on track with international dish number three. Comes from Brazil, and this is kind of interesting because I don't know how to pronounce this dish, so I'm going to try and pronounce what we're making today. Uh, unfortunately, there's nowhere on the internet that gives you Brazilian, or I say Portuguese, uh, pronunciation. So I didn't know how, I looked everywhere. I'm like, how do you say this dish? So bear with me. Now, if I'm saying it wrong, please correct me in the comments like you always do. I'm um, looking at, it's either Mo, Moqueca Baiana or it's Moqueca Baiana. So I, maybe I've completely destroyed that, but I hope, I hope I've given you guys respect in pronoun pronouncing it close to how it should be pronounced. Uh, but let me know. Anyway, translated, it means a Brazilian fish stew. It's going to be great. We have so many cool ingredients I'm going to show you right now. Uh, and remember the, the uh, recipe is always down below, so you don't have to write this stuff down. Just watch, enjoy, and may your mouth water. I saw pictures of this dish and I can't wait to see how it turns out. It's gonna be awesome. Now, you can already see the flavors that are going into this, but let me run down. Uh, I've got chili powder and I'm using a chipotle chili powder. Uh, it's just absolutely amazing. Uh, you've got uh, cumin, you've got Paprika, it asks for smoked paprika. I didn't have any, so I'm just using regular. But if you have smoked, that's for ground pepper. Uh, it's got your coarse salt. Then you got some olive oil. You got your coconut milk. You got your two bell peppers for color. And you got four, I'm using Roma tomatoes. The recipe says plum tomatoes, it doesn't matter. Limes, cilantro, which is smelling up the entire kitchen right now. Absolutely amazing odor, I love it. You got the shrimp, of course. What's a fish stew without some shrimp? And then it also asks for uh, it also asks for white thick uh, fish steaks. So you can it says halibut. Halibut was really pricey, and, and the uh, mahi mahi was a lot uh, less expensive. So I went with a mahi mahi. Make sure it's uh, it's the thick cut, okay? Because you're gonna want thick steaks for this dish. So it all looks good, doesn't it? All right, let me show you how to start marinating the fish because we're gonna have to marinate that for about two hours. All right, so here's our fish. We got it in a dish. We're gonna. Uh, we're gonna start marinating these. Put them like this. They all get, they all get some flavor on them. Okay, I'm gonna uh, put the seasoning on. But first, move this to the side. We're gonna do that in a second. And what you want to do with the seasoning is blend the seasoning first in a bowl, and then you're going to uh, put it on top of here. Okay. So let's do that right now. Here's the garlic, lime juice the ground cumin, the paprika, and the recipe asks for smoked paprika. I'm using regular, but if you got smoked, go ahead and use it. The chili powder, and coarse pepper and coarse salt for flavor. All right, so let's mix that all up before we apply it to the fish. Now let's apply it on the fish here. Make sure you get it all on there. Don't leave anything in the bowl. Now see that? We're going to put that in the refrigerator for two hours to chill. And we'll take a look at that in just a moment. And I'll start preparing my other ingredients while that's chilling. Okay. Now that we've chilled this for two solid hours, it's all marinated in there. Oh man, you could smell that just when I opened it. We're gonna let this set and get to room temperature. About 15 minutes, just leave it here on the table. All right, and then we're gonna go over to the stove next and show you how to cook it all up. As with any dish that you cook in the Dutch oven, you're gonna wanna just put a drop of olive oil in at the bottom. There you go. Maybe two drops. <laughs> You guys crack me up. They're always criticizing. That's not a drop. That's half a bottle. Here's what we're going to do. You can put it on a low flame. Going to take your onions that you sliced. You're going to make, gonna make layers. One layer of onion. You're only going to use half your onions, by the way. Okay? Just go ahead and put all your onion slices, about half of them in here. you want in a minute. Okay, got that in there. 
half your bell pepper rings. Half your tomatoes, and they're thick cut tomatoes, so be sure to uh, give them a good thickness. Let them hold together. There we go. Half our tomatoes. Half the cilantro, and it's the cilantro with the leaves and some of the thin stems. Totally healthy to eat. Don't even worry about it. About a cup's worth. You're going to put half a cup in there right now. Then we're going to place the fish in there next. And I want to save almost all the, the marinades. So here's what I'm going to do. Take the fish out one piece at a time. Keeping all the seasoning on top. Slide that over. There we go. Just laying that on top right there. Obviously the last piece goes there. Whoops, want to look pretty, beautiful, presentable. And then take the last of that juice, just pour it right in there in a safe spot. Don't rinse off the seasoning, leave the seasoning on top. It's gonna be beautiful. You can add a little more salt and pepper. I'm not adding any more salt because there's plenty of salt in there. I'm gonna put a little more black pepper on here, on the sides, there you go. You can add whatever you want at this point. You wanna add a little more seasoning, more garlic, whatever. Help yourself. Now let's go and finish off the other half of the onion slices. Put these in here. Rest of the bell pepper. Rest of the tomatoes. You can hear it starting to sizzle. So I want to go a little qu quicker than this. So I can get my coconut milk in there. There you go. Rest of the cilantro. And the coconut milk. And guess what? That is it. Alright, so I'm going to cover this. I'm going to cook on low for 30 minutes. When that's done, we're going to add the shrimp in at the very end. So I've been uh, stewing this for about 35 to 40 minutes. I went a little bit longer than I should have, but man, the whole, the whole place smells like a restaurant. I haven't even opened it yet. It smells so delicious. Uh, you could see all the flavors are starting to meld together because in the Dutch oven, everything's trapped in there. See how it just escaped, see? All that liquid is still in there. So it's just simmering. Oh wow, you could see all the liquid coming up as all the vegetables meld together. We're gonna give that a little bit longer. It doesn't look like it's completely done yet. I'm thinking more like 45 minutes total, but I will definitely post the time, the correct time in the bottom in the description area, okay? Okay, let's take a look at it. Yeah, it's all starting to come together. Let's get the shrimp in. And once again, I altered the recipe a little bit. It asked for three quarters of a pound. I'm putting in almost a whole pound of shrimp because I love shrimp and it's going to taste delicious. Make sure it gets all over there. Don't be afraid to move it around. Try not to destroy your levels that you've been working on, but I want the shrimp to get into that juice, so I would even encourage you to push it to the sides and tucking it in, but leave everything else in place, okay? Wow, that smells amazing. Get the cover on real quick. Three minutes and we're done. Are you ready to see what it looks like? One, two, three. Look at that, voila. That is beautiful. Okay, let's serve this up. Look at all the, look at all the juice. Tons of juice with the fish and the coconut juice and the shrimp and the tomatoes and the cilantro and oh my goodness. This is pretty cool. I'm pretty excited about this. Okay, look at it. Look at that. Is that beautiful? Oh my goodness. See how the fish is still seasoned? All the seasoning stuck on the fish. A little bit of rice to absorb the juice. Juice. I know what you're thinking. Let's do it. I'm, I'm thinking the same thing. We need a little bit of juice on here. Look at this. Gorgeous. Just put it on the plate. 
Look at that. How beautiful is that? Let's cut a piece of the fish. The fish came out perfect. Look at that. A little rice, a little fish. Oh, man. Gorgeous. Let's give it a try. <laughs> Oh wow, <coughs> little heat. <laughs> yeah, that chili pepper, wow. Okay, this is a spicy dish. Anything can be that spicy, but the, I'll tell you the, the juice from the stew and everything on top, oh, you know what? Poor little guy, there you go. He felt lonely. Mmm, mmm, wow. So many flavors I can't even explain. That was very simple. Try it out. Send me pictures. And then next week, I'm doing one of my hardest recipes I've ever done in my life. It's a French recipe. I'm sure you can guess what it is. I will see you on the next Cooking with Jack. You take care.